Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. And for all the lovers out there, happy Valentine's Day. This is a wonderful time of year as we start to transition from winter into spring, the birds start singing, the flowers start blooming, and love is definitely in the air. So what better way to celebrate the season of love and transition than to share a few coffee cocktails with you that you can make for your friends, your family, and your dates. So we're gonna make a few excellent, simple cocktails here in the studio, and I've got a very special guest waiting at a special bar just for you. I can't wait for you to meet him. So let's get started. So for our first cocktail of the day, a simple variation on Sam Ross's Paper Plane. One of my favorite equal parts sours. Of course, this one will have Mr. Black and just a touch of rose water to sexy it up. The Turbo Prop is a great cocktail if you've forgotten the roses. So we'll start by building this into a cocktail shaker and add equal parts of lemon juice, Aperol, bourbon, and Mr. Black Cold Brew liqueur. We'll add our ice and shake. And before we strain this cocktail, we're gonna hit our chilled coupe with just a couple dashes of rose water. And then we'll strain right in. And our garnish will be a lemon peel. And there it is, the turbo prop. Enjoy, friends. For our next cocktail, a sexy, decadent espresso martini variation. And if you haven't watched our video on how to nail a beautiful frothy head on your espresso martinis, just click the bubble somewhere up on the top of your screen and then come on back once you've watched that video. But if you're feeling frisky, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and start by adding one ounce of fresh espresso, one ounce of vodka, a half ounce of chocolate liqueur, and one and a half ounces of Mr. Black Colby liqueur. We'll add some ice and we'll shake this extra hard to get all that beautiful bubbly aeration. And then we'll fine strain into a chilled cocktail glass. and garnish with some freshly shaved chocolate. Enjoy. All right, well, we've cleaned up here. So we have that special guest waiting on us. So we better, we better get moving. Let's go, friends. Well, Elliot with Montenegro, thank you so much for coming in and talking Valentine's Day cocktails with us. Hey, last. we've been talking about this for a long time and coffee and Amari, coffee and Montenegro, match made in heaven, long overdue man. Absolutely. So we took the time to come up with three separate cocktails to enjoy your Valentine's Day, whoever you want to spend it with, right? So the first cocktail we have would be the one to start the day off, right? The breakfast cocktail? Uh, classic breakfast brunch cocktail. Um, and what better way to start a uh, locked in Valentine's Day with some booze, right? Yeah, and I mean, the Ramus. The yeah. Ramus Gin Fizz is like a classic. The cocktail itself rises, so, you know, it really is a morning cocktail. It Rise really to rises. the occasion of getting drunk on Valentine's Day. Exactly, as you should. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so our Ramus variation, um, obviously, is going to have Amaro Montenegro. Classic Italian Amari. Um, the best thing about Montenegro uh, is the Amari can be very bitter, very sweet. Uh, we fall dead in the middle. So uh, it's, a, it's a great way to start in terms of Amari uh, and a great way to really start any cocktail in terms of balance, right? It's, it's hard to mess up a cocktail using Montenegro because it is so balanced. 
and it provides uh, any end of the spectrum. If you want it to provide sweetness, it provides beautiful sweetness. If you want it to provide bitterness, it provides that as well. Uh, it's been made the same way for uh, a long time now, since 1885, um, using 40 botanicals. So again, those 40 botanicals provide balance, right? Everything does something to either sweeten or bitter, uh, bitter the Amaro up and just allows it to be easy drinking and a go-to, which has made it an Italian classic for so long. The beautiful botanicals in Montenegro pair so well and are so subtle, um, but when added with coffee, like it brings out the best of both, in my opinion. There's so much depth in coffee and there's so much depth in botanicals of Amari that it it's kind of up to your imagination what you connect to, what you pull out of each spirit, and then especially combined. Especially considering that, you know, coffee and, and Amari is, is how it's drank in Italy. So yeah, um, we're just being as classic as it gets right now. And they're both consumed in a cafe. Yeah, so we got that going for you. Too, yeah. <laughs>
And then we're adding just a half ounce of Fino Sherry, which is extra dry, um, just adds that really ethereal, beautiful quality to the cocktail. It lengthens the finish really nicely as well. Um, we're gonna use a nice big Colin Spear, but feel free to use whatever ice you have lying around. It, actually, the more dilution is really better with the Collins anyways. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and top that up with tonic. Yep. Yeah, nice and easy, easy to make. Um, you know, again, the match made in heaven, right? Coffee and Amari, Mr. Black and Marks Negro. Um, and then uh, just kind of lengthening it. We, I love how it just rounded everything out for us in the end of the palette and the finish. Uh, we just brought everything together with the sherry. Um, and then bubbles make everything fun, right? So. Absolutely. And if you have if you have any issue with tonic, if tonic isn't your, your uh, play, by all means, you know, use soda water to replace yeah. the tonic. Uh, but I do recommend giving it a try. I mean, I, I think that in American culture, we're not used to drinking really overly bitter things. And tonic has had a bad rap, you know, with Schweppes and some of these like mass produced, very, gun. yeah, gun, <laughs> the gun tonic, yeah. like really gives tonic a bad name. And yeah. if you go and buy some decent stuff like Beaver Tree or Cube or something, just give rare. it a go. There's enough sugar and balance and, and spirit and flavor in there that it's not gonna overpower. And uh, and if you don't want either of those options, then just pour champagne into the cocktail <laughs> yeah. and you'll be a very Make happy it person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is Valentine's Day after right? all. So yeah. Yeah. you got the bubbles, absolutely use yeah. them. And either way, it's still a low ABV crusher. Um, yep. You know, something to get you uh, into the evening without uh, ending things with too quickly. We all know that, you know, Making it to the end of Valentine's Day is super important. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. That's where you the know, magic happens. That's where all the magic happens. You don't want to be over, overly consuming for right. too early on, right? Yeah. Cool. So for our last cocktail today, we'll be finishing with a, a Manhattan variation. Yep. And I think the idea that we had behind this one was something um, just obvious and, and sultry and something to just really finish strong, right? Yeah, right. Something that you're not going to drink too quickly. You're going to take some time yep. and hopefully you're staring into whoever, you know, is in front of you's eyes yep. and not really paying too much attention to the cocktail. But it's getting you where you need to go and it's <laughs> yeah. super delicious. Yeah. Um, so we really kind of we took the Black Manhattan, which is a like a modern classic out of San Francisco as the base of this cocktail. And so, so we went with equal parts of brandy. We use the Vecchio Romagna, which is uh, under our portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Trevoti. So it's actually aged in three different types of casks. Um, and this is, uh, Vecchio Romagna has been around actually longer than Montenegro, uh, but this is a, a new creation from us, uh, a new creation out of an old house. Cool. Um, so it's something uh, modern and beautiful yet classic and just, you know, it's just a beautiful classic Italian brandy. Nice, so we use one ounce of the brandy, Italian brandy, and we use one ounce of the Mara Montenegro. And one ounce of Mr. Black Colbert liqueur. And then we tied all that together with two dashes of Angostura's brand new cacao bitters. So good. Yeah, I mean, I, we used this uh, for a holiday episode, actually, in Karen Grill. It was the first time she had it. Oh, cool. Blew her away. I don't know why I've become the, you know, just the Southern California spokesperson for uh, <laughs> unintentional. It's totally unintentional. <laughs> Obviously, I think you, I think you would agree, it works really well with Montenegro as well. Yep. Kind of the, the balance of flavors in there. Absolutely. But when you're talking about a coffee liqueur like Mr. Black, which has three different single origin Arabica coffees, it's really beautiful and it's balanced. And it's not overly bitter. That cacao, like once you add that in there, it only brightens up all those really beautiful dark chocolate flavors in the coffee. Yep. Um, so it only enhances the strength and kind of ties the whole thing together. And then we went ahead and garnished with an orange peel. Yep. Classic. Classic. Yeah. Sprex <laughs> discard, right? Yep. 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 Yeah. I mean, just keep it as simple as possible. Uh, let the beautiful ingredients speak for themselves. Uh, and the cocktail glass is the garnish, in my opinion, always. I very yeah. rarely ever garnish in a Ganora because right. the, I mean, it's already beautiful. Yeah. And you don't need anything blocking your dates, yeah. right? Right. right. <laughs> all about the interaction now. Um, and this is merely, uh, the cocktail is merely an enhancement for uh, the rest of the evening. Yeah. This is my first time doing a uh, interview style, like 60 yeah. minutes so thing. So official. Yeah, yeah, I know. We, well, I, you know, Elliot's also a really great photographer and videographer. And um, we haven't had the extra gear here, extra yeah. lights, extra uh, another camera. So we thought, why not? Just give it a try. Yeah. And in this beautiful space that is raised by wolves in San Diego, California, uh, La Jolla, California, I guess, yeah. technically. 
why not, right? Eric Castro has built a beautiful bar, him and Chris Patino. Why not use it? Uh, yeah. Sending all our love to Chris as he's conquering cancer right now. Of course. And this this space speaks for itself. Um, I think everything is accidentally perfect here. Like right. like this cocktail came together on the first shot yep. in a beautiful space uh, with great people. Uh, well, thanks, Elliot. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Thank you, and, man. Uh, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. You as well. You as Whoever well. you know is in your life. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, well cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. See you next Thank time. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. It's almost Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd share a couple simple, elegant cocktails that you can make at home. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy these videos as much as we enjoy making them. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps our channel grow. And if you have questions about coffee cocktails, leave them down in the comment section down below. And click all over the screen for more excellent content from Mr. Black. Cheers, y'all.